of God, how unsearchable his judgments and his paths beyond tracing out. It's like I'm plunging into his wisdom and I love to swim in his word, his spirit filling my lungs again. No scuba needed, I'm one of his kin. Crying out for father in the water bubbles as I'm coming to him. Getting closer, feel the sun on my skin. The glory of the Lord pulling me forward, his love tugging something within. Feeling unworthy, there's nothing in men. Deserving of his presence, I'm dirty and daily, I need scrubbing again. But his blood covers in abundance of sin. Though as I get nearer, exposing a mirror is just how grungy I am. I become more of a mirror, the cleaner, the clearer. His reflection as he purifies my heart in sections, the goal is perfection. One day he's coming again. I'll be at them, but until I hear the trumpets and men leaving the graves, I'm still searching the depths of his wisdom and love, learning to breathe the spirit, my body fueled by his blood. I pray that you will be rooted and established in love, may have power together with all the saints to grasp how wide and long and high and deep is the love of Christ. And to know this love that surpasses knowledge that you may be filled to the measure of all the fullness of God. It's like I'm entering into the temple, left my flesh at the altar, bathed at the labor, continuing in, identifying with Christ in his sacrifice, purged with his word and spirit, the knife cutting precisely, dividing the soulish and spiritual devotion from ritual, Pharisaic traditions and relational pinnacles, no longer seen as sinful, linen cloaks my physical, like the ship of a Vulcan, my sins become invisible, invisible distance, I behold the holiest, cast the pillars in the porch and approach with boldness, establishing his strength, glad to be his associates, communing without the communism of the Soviets, consuming the showbread, frosted with pure frankincense, all for full memorial is the metaphor making sense, a wonderful fragrance made when the sun was offered, grant me access into the throne room of the fathers, continuing onward after glancing at the lampstands, like providing sight so I see where my timberlands stand, filled with the spirit, the light of Christ that shines before men, Holy Ghost promotes more than Jordan and four men, for a minute I Pause at the altar of incense. Thank the Lord for interceding for me since an infant. An infinite God in torn flesh. Rip the curtain, he's searching my dirty heart, but his heart is worthy of searching for certain. And remember, therefore, brothers, since we have confidence to enter the most holy place by the blood of Jesus, by a new and living way opened for us through the curtain that is his body. And since we have a great priest over the house of God, let us draw near to God with a sincere heart and full assurance of faith having our hearts sprinkled to cleanse us from a guilty conscience. It's like I'm walking into the oracle, sparking the heart of David, making the days of Solomon, but now historical. Gold walls carved with palm trees, open flowers and cherubim done marvelously. They pause me, cause me to stop and meditate. Consider the host of heaven, the Lord with his son and all his delegates. I long to sing along and celebrate. Holy, holy, holy is the lamb who was slain to save us from hellish fate. Suddenly I'm in another place, the mercy seat in the ark of a place with God's throne of grace. The cherubim live, they spectate, I fall prostrate, his glory is heavy, I can't take the weight. Then I awake at the crib and I'm prostrate in my bed, next to the pages I read to behold his face. And by grace it is real, and through faith it's revealed that when I'm praying I'm still in his holy place. Therefore, since we have a great high priest who has gone through the heavens, Jesus the Son of God, let us hold firmly to the faith we profess. For we do not have a high priest who is unable to sympathize with our weaknesses, but we have one who has been tempted in every way just as we are, yet was without sin. Let us then approach the throne of grace with confidence so that we may receive mercy and find grace to help us in our time of need.